Best of five sets. Rosewall to serve. Ready? Play. Finals at Forest Hills between Kenny Rosewall and Jimmy Connors. Rosewall at the top of your screen to serve to Connors oh. in the near court. Connors on the left of your picture, the number one seed. Rosewall was seated number five. Out. Pat Summerall along with Tony Trabert. 15 love. And Tony, what kind of match do you think? I think it'll be a lot closer than the Wimbledon finals where Jimmy Connors defeated Ken Rosewall 6-1, 6-1, In that particular tournament, Rosewall had defeated Stan Smith in a long five-set semi, and he was tired. I don't think he's as tired here, and I think we'll see a good match. We'll see a lot of ground strokes. We'll see a lot of good return to serves. It won't just oh. be a net rushing situation. 15 all. Double fault number one for Rosewall, and I suppose, Tony, if he's had trouble with any part of his game in recent weeks, there it is. No question about it, and it, it stems from a shaky toss. He, last couple of years, has had difficulty setting that ball up near where he wants it. I think we'll see both players mixing up the attack. They will serve and come in behind the serve. Some of the time they'll serve and fake like they're coming in and stop short, hoping to get a short return and then come in behind the approach shot. Oh, no. 30 all. It's a nice day. The weather's nice. It's a little overcast. Uh, I don't think any threat of rain. I hope that's not the kiss of death, but uh, I hope not. It's not too hot, and you notice that Connors is still wearing a short sleeve sweater to get warmed up. And right off the bat, it's break point for Connors. I think, Pat Summerall, that what Connors' approach will be to really try to take advantage of Ken Rosewall's second serve. Connors goes at everything pretty hard. He takes a good swing at it, but Rosewall's second serve is not overpowering. That's exactly what he did. Did Roscoe Tanner yesterday to reach the final. Connors to serve. Ken Rosewall and Jimmy Connors playing for the U.S. Open Championship at Forest Hills, the West Side Tennis Club in the borough of Queens, just across the East River from Manhattan. <laughs> Connors <laughs> served, dug up some dust. Mentioned this on previous telecast, but when the serve hits the line here on the grass court, it, it doesn't, the ball doesn't bounce through as wow. fast. And it usually throws the player's timing off. <laughs> the Rose Wall backhand, I suppose, is unmatched anywhere. 15 all. Marvelous stroke, and I think. We'll see a lot of that type of play from Rosewall. A lot of offensive lobs. Oh. Oh. Just for fun, let's see how deep this serve lands. There's not pressure on Connors at this point. I think it'll be a fairly deep serve unless he's trying to kick it wide. Ah. Oh. 40, 40, 30. Connors is 22 years old, just 22 last week, in fact. And Rosewall, the remarkable one, is 39. Going to be 40 in November.
Two games to love. Good aggressive volleying by Jimmy Connors. He knocked off two volleys off the two-handed side and concluded the game with a good, solid forehand volley. You have to do that with, against a guy like Roosevelt because you can't give him too many shots at trying to pass you. That one did not come over the net. This is Rosewall in the green shirt in the near court. Connors in the red shirt with the short sleeve sweater on in the far court. Oh! You imagine he'd be out of that sweater on the next court change. He usually follows that pattern. That was Frank Hammond. Oh! The ball ripped in all. Double fault number two for Rosewall. That really is a, a problem that Kenny has had. Uh, he has served quite a few double faults, and uh, he's, he's short. He's 5'7". He, he's not a prolific server. He normally gets a good degree of first serves in the court, and uh, he's not trying to knock you down with a second serve. He does try to place it well, and he does try to get good depth, but he missed fairly badly on that one. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. That two hand shot just gets past you before you know it. Right, and this double break point could put Rosewell down two service breaks in this first set. I know when Rod Laver played Rosewell, he said, I never felt comfortable enough with just one break against him because he returned serves so well. Mm. He felt he had to have at least two to be sure he could win a set. Uh, wow, and a very Connor. bad error by Ken Rosewell. Cost him his serve for the second time in this first set, and he now trails Jimmy Connors, three love, Connors leads in the first set. Three games to love. U.S. Open Tennis Championships, the finals, with Jimmy Connors serving in the near court to Ken Rosewall in the far court. Connors leads three love games to love in the first set. Service ace, 15, first one for Connors. And I'm not, I don't think that was a bad bounce. He just got an awful lot of kick on it, and being left-handed, it kicked out and away from Rosewell's forehand. A very tough ball for a right-hander to handle. Up, 30 all. Don't let the slumpy demeanor of Rosewall fool you. He was like that yesterday he against sure Newcomb. Was. In the second set, he'd lost the first set, and early in the second set, he was slouching around and and uh, looked like he was finished. He was down 5-2 in that second set and came back to win it. <laughs> Super shot by Jimmy Connors. On the run, the top spin up the line. Perfectly played. 40, 30. And I'll tell you, Rosewell really ripped that backhand approach mm -hmm. shot. He hits a little under slice and it scoots and stays low. Terrific shot by Jimmy Connors. Connors. He leads four games to love. We're so stuck. far, it looks like Wimbledon continued. Took Connors just 92 minutes to finish Kenny and the finals at Wimbledon.
in straight sets. He leads for love first set here. It'll be interesting to see if Rosewell tries to change any tactics at this stage of the game. Really, he's behind because he has missed some easy shots. Coupled with the fact that Jimmy Connors has played Connors type tennis. He hits it hard. He's made he made some good shots. He's not getting a lot of first serves in, and with his type of serving not being a dominant feature, he should get a higher percentage in if he's going to be successful. Ball brought some dust, but uh, oftentimes it happens, particularly in the service area where the, where the lime has been scattered a little bit. And there's quite a bit of that white line behind both baselines, so we can't just go by and seeing the chalk fly. And Kenny Rosewell holds serve finally, breaks the ice, gets on the. The men's singles finals for the U.S. Open Tennis Championship at the Westside Tennis Club in Forest Hills, New York. Jimmy Connors has shed his short sleeve sweater now. He's serving in the far court to Ken Rosewall. It is back to you. Connors leads four games to one. Ever the aggressor. Jimmy does one thing, he does a lot of things well, I shouldn't say that, but one thing he does extremely well is get in close behind his serve. He doesn't hit it real hard all the time, he kicks it and he gets in well inside the service line for that first volley. That's some kind of a point. Forty love. Rosewell hit that forehand right off the ground. Looked like a terrific shot. Low hit hard, and Connors just drops the volley over for a ah. winner. Ball. Scores 40 love. Connors leads four games to one first set. Yep. 40. 40. That's the voice of Connors as he said, yep, in acknowledgement to that strong service return from Rosewall. Funny, he didn't even go for that, and I don't know, it's not that he, there's a reason why he wouldn't try for it, but he must have been fooled. He must have been expecting the ball to go out to the other side. Okay, Connors. Connors used three different tactics in that he game. Five games to one. He served and got in very quickly. He served and got about three feet inside the baseline, and when Rosewell's ball came deep enough, he moved on in and volleyed it. He served and stopped when Rosewell's return landed short, expecting Connors to come in and volley. He then made the ground stroke and came in on the behind the approach shot. Very dejected looking Ken Rosewall, but as Tony Travert said earlier, don't be misled by those mannerisms. He can get up fast. I've seen him look like that when I stuck him for a dinner tab. <laughs> <laughs> no way he can get that back. I understand that's a pretty good trick, too. It sure is. <laughs> Bad toss, low, too far to the right. Not able to get over the ball when he does that. Ooh. 
And Connors made that good shot at Rosewall's feet. We'll take a look at it again. Connors got in too far. Now Rosewell makes the serve Look wide. Jimmy hits a good approach and comes in. The offensive lob over the head. And now Rosewell comes in when he sees it. Connors going to let it bounce. Good cross court. Kenny gets it. Now Connors overruns the ball here. And sort of had to take 15, a quick snap 40. at the ball and knock it in the ground. And we're back to live action. It's 1540. Rosewall serving. He's down 1-5 in the first set of the finals of the U.S. Open, 1974. Right. Set point. A miss hit that came in good from Connors, and he wins the first set handily. Top spin on it, made it dip. Beautifully placed. And there's a happy Chrissy Everett, Jimmy's fiance. She, of course, lost yesterday in the semifinals in a terrific tennis match to Yvonne Gulagong. She really showed a lot of spunk in getting back in the match, finally losing. Jimmy Connors in an air court won the first set six games to one. And this is the finals of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships for the men. Connors against Ken Rosewall. Connors came to play. This capacity crowd gave Rosewall a terrific hand when he came out, trying to get him started, get the adrenaline flowing. He's going to need that and then some, the way it looks right now. I think Ken is going to have to try to be more aggressive, both on his own return of serve and also behind his own serve. He's going to have to take some chances and keep on coming in to try to insert some pressure on Connors. Big hop on that serve. 30, 15. That one might have taken a little bit of a bad bounce because Jimmy sort of sliced the ball up the center. Normally a slice serve will stay lower on grass, and that was up around Kenny's head. So it might have kicked a little higher than he expected. Just out. Oh, 30 off. This is the first Ball game of the ball. second set. There's umpire Jack Starr hearing a few whistles from the crowd assures them that the ball was well out. Connors won the first set six games to one. Break point for Ken Rosewall. 30-40. First time Rosewall's come close to breaking Connors. Connor's volley was short, but it was running away from Rose Wall, and it turned out to be an effective shot because it doesn't come up much on this grass. Kenny barely got to it and couldn't make a shot. Advantage, Rose Wall. Once again, it's break point for Rose Wall. Perhaps our friend Mo is showing up. Maybe he is. He was on this side of the net, on Connor's side, wherever he was in that first set. Momentum, very important feature in any sport like that. He always comes. Connors is a smart server. He slices some, he'll kick some off the other way. 
he mixes it up very well, and he does get a high percentage of first serves in. Advantage, Connors. Jimmy Connors with some good serving. Gets out of a little trouble, holds his serve, and he leads one he game to none the in the second game set. The second. Very confident looking Jimmy Connors. He came out uh, with a very aggressive attitude, as he always does, but he certainly seemed when he came out, he was ready to play. Wimbledon champion 1974, the Australian champion 74, U.S. Open champion on play in 74 and the pro rookie of the year in 1972. And he's about to on November the 8th in addition to all the other honors he's got acquire a pretty good tennis player as a wife. That's the day he and Chris Everett are supposed to get married. They are playing together in the mixed doubles competition by the way and are still alive. Connors won the first set of this final match. Six games to one, and he leads in the second set. One love, Rosewall serving. What a winner that is. Connors finished halfway up into the middle Love's of the next 15. court. After making that forehand down the line, the second one of those he's made. Such a good shot that Connors hits a two-hander because you'd think he'd want to pull the ball most of the time like that, but pull it down the line. Instead, he went out the other way with it, hit it very hard. So you almost have to guess which side he's going to hit the ball, and that makes it tough. <laughs> Top spin lob by Connors. Chases Roosevelt back Love to the 14. stadium wall. Scores love 40. Break point again. Rosewall lost his serve three out of four times in the first set. Triple break point. Oh! 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 Out. 15 40. Good idea by Connors. Come in behind the return off the second serve when Rosal does not come in. He sort of hit it on the dead run and missed it by about a yard over the baseline. He might want to make the shot first and then come in. Again, this one cross court. Who now serves with new balls. He won the first set 6-1. He leads two love in the second set. This is the finals of the U.S. Open. Oh, hello. 15, love. like he's lost a little confidence. Mm -hmm. Connors didn't give him much chance to do anything. It'd be easy to understand if he did as well as Connors is playing. <laughs> Three missed service returns by Rosewall. Not because he was overpowered, he just plain missed them. 
And that supposedly is his strength. We have a capacity house here at the West Side Tennis Club. This is Monday, a working day. These were ticket holders from Saturday. These tickets were good for today's play, and I think it's a tribute to the way tennis has grown and the job that Billy Tauber, the tournament director, and his staff have done. Connors hits the overhead smash up into the crowd, bounced it to make sure that Roswell couldn't get to it. He now leads three games to love in the second set. Connors lead. That expression pretty much indicates the kind of tennis Jimmy Connors has been playing. He is really attacking everything. Very, very, very aggressive. He's tenacious. Uh, he fights hard. He, he never lets up. You see, no, there's his fiance, Chrissy Everett, on the right side of your screen. Obviously enjoying the way this match is progressing at this stage. You got to admire Connors, uh, the way he plays tennis. He, right off the service return, he takes a real shot at that ball. I've always felt that, particularly off a player's second serve, that's about as good a ball as you're going to get the hit because it bounces up higher. You can get in a little closer. And uh, once your opponent makes one volley, normally the ball's around the knees when you make your next shot, and you're normally on the run, so it's tough. Jimmy Connors has been spectacular. He leads in the second set of this final match between himself and Ken Rosewall, three games to love. He won the first set six games to one. He just hammering winner after winner. A little murmur goes through the crowd as Connors has been just spectacular. Oh. Rose Wall just fired the ball he was holding in his hand straight up in the air in disgust. Someone hollers, come on, Kenny, and the crowd reacts. So does Connors. for Jimmy Connors on Ken Rosewall's serve. This would put Rosewall down two breaks. Connors would be up four love in the second set. I think Jimmy will baby this one. I haven't seen him baby anything yet, and he didn't. 15 for him. Still double break point. Connors on Rosewall's serve. Let's play. Just out. 30, 40. Still break point. 30-40. Pressure here, Pat Summerall. Mm -hmm. Let's see where Rosewell's second serve lands. Real deep. Excellent. And Rosewell's approach shot hit just inside the baseline, and Connors Game. whipped a one-handed forehand cross court for an absolute winner to break Rosewell's serve. And he four now leads to four games to love in the second set. It's absolute slaughter at this stage. It shows on the face of Kenny Rosewall. Six one in the first set, four love in the second set. 
Connors in command. Five times Rosewall has lost his serve so far in this match. He won it only once. He only gave me one. About all you can say is right now, Jimmy Connors is just too good. 15, love. That's right. It has not been a question of Rosewall making a lot of errors necessarily. Connors just hit a lot of winners, but a lot of pressure on. Oh. Serve is in almost every time. That ball is out, but Connors' first serve is good almost every time. That's always the way it seems to go in sports. When you're rolling, you have the momentum on your side, you get the breaks. Oh! No question about who the crowd likes. 30 all. I know they want to see Kenny get into this match. They they don't want to see a one-sided affair. They're encouraging him to get it rolling if he can. Jimmy Connors impressively holds serve and leads five love in the second set. West Hills, New York, is that Jimmy Connors has just been overpowering. Connors won the first set six games to one. He leads five love with Rosewall serving in the near court, Connors in the front court. Crowd's just a little bit stunned by Connor's play. Shots like that. 15 all. Hammond, one of the best in the business. Uh, Rosewall 13, just dropped 13. his racket in disgust. More upset with himself, I'm sure, than anything else. And once again, double break point for Connors on Rosewall's serve. This would salt the second set away at 6-love. Connors won the first one 6-1. At Wimbledon, Connors won the first two sets 6-1, 6-1, and the third set 6-4. Fantastic forehand down the line by Jimmy Connors. He breaks Rosewall's serve for the third time in the second set and wins the set six love. He now leads two sets game to none. And second set, Connors, six games to love. He leads two sets to love. Well, I'm sure Rosewall in his distinguished career has gotten off the floor and come back and won matches before, but I doubt if the hole has been this deep many times. 15 loves, Connors wins the first point of the third set. He has lost only one game in the first two sets. Six love and six one. Good 
Jail. See, Rosewall just wondering right now, what can I do? What mm -hmm. should I do? What else is there for me to try? To try to break Connor's rhythm a little bit. Oh. Fifteen all. Connors threw that ball way back over the top of his head. Came right over the top that time. Good kick. Earlier today in the men's doubles finals, Stan Smith and Bob Lutz defeated the South American pair of Cornejo and Fiol 6-3, 6-3. They just played two out of three sets because that one day of rain sort of threw the schedule into a little bit of turmoil. In the matches we've seen Connors play, he has missed more of the one-handed approach shot than I think any other stroke that he has attempted. He makes a lot of them, but he has made more errors on that particular shot. 30 all a score, first game, third set. Connors leads two sets to none. And that's the kind of play we are so accustomed to seeing from Ken Rosewell. He got Connors on the string and had him going like a yo-yo. Service ace, number two for Connors. At a clutch time. Yes. And it has to be doubly discouraging for Rosewall, who is really being thumped at this stage, to have Connors make that kind of that a shot. Connors. Besides everything else, just catching the line. Now Jimmy has the advantage on his serve. Let. By Rosewall gets it back to Deuce. Kenny's made a few winners off the return of serve, but certainly nothing like Connors. It's the strongest game he's played, Rosewall. They've all been strong for Connors. Up. Advantage, Connors. I think Kenny's not so sure whether that serve was good. It was close. Mm -hmm. fans weren't so sure in the last one either. They applaud when the same linesman calls that ball out. So Jimmy Connors holds his serve after a bit of difficulty and he leads one nine in Connors, the third set. The finals for the men at the West Side Tennis Club for the U.S. Open oh, Championships, oh, oh, this is legendary Forest Hills. The situation is that Jimmy Connors has been totally in control from the very beginning. He won the first set six games to one, second six love, 
He leads in the third set, one love with Rose Ball serving, two Connors in the near court. And that's the third double fault for Rosewell. He has not served an ace. Connors has served two aces and has had no double faults. Love 30. Triple break point. Love 40. Triple break point for Jimmy Connors. $22,500 to the winner, $10,800 to the runner up. Tough second serve to get deep. Well, Two deep. Two double falls for that game for Rosewall. He leads two games to love, third set. The way Connors plays the game inserts extra pressure on the server, particularly if you're not a real big server, because he just jumps all over those weak serves. And so Kenny trying to get it deep and hit it well out. <laughs> Rosewall slipped down. Okay, go back. Connors walks up to check to make sure he's okay, hasn't hurt himself. I'm sure he's fine physically. Emotionally right now, he's not so good. He's gotta be a little bit down. There you go. Rosewall won this championship in 1956. Jimmy Connors was four years old then. I played Kenny in the finals here in 1955. It's just incredible to see him out there in the finals at this stage. You might add that you beat him in 55. That's for me to say. Right. Connors tried to come all the way in behind the serve that time, and Rosewell's backhand caught him right at his feet. It was hit hard, too, and the volley went well over the baseline. This time, Connors probably won't come all the way in. He may serve and just get inside the baseline. He likes to mix it up. That's smart. A very dejected Ken Rosewall. Waiting to return serve. He has not returned serve well at all. He has not done much of anything well. Yeah. Might be the shot he needs. Could be. The let ball. He needs a lot of those. He's down two sets to love and trails two games to love in the third set. Served well, Connors has. Really a very, very high percentage, Tony, of first serves have come in for him. He has indeed, and they have not all been kickers. He kicks some, he slices some, some he hits with a lot of smoke on him. And being a lefty, that's uh, an advantage as well because the right-handers don't see as many left-handers. Kick serve up on the forehand by Connors. Rosewell miss hits it, knocks it well out of the side of the court, and Connors now leads three love in the third Connors set. Connors leads three games to love, third set. That's the situation in the finals at the West Side Tennis Club for the U.S. Open Championships. Kenny Rosewall serving with his back to you. Jimmy Connors at the top of your picture. Connors totally, totally in command. 
Six one in the first two sets. Six one in the first. Six love in the second. He leads three games to love in this set. Rosewall so far in this match has served eight times and he's Let lost his serve seven of the eight times. Incredible, particularly on grass. And the hole gets deeper. If I didn't say what the score was, I think you could tell by that picture. Roswell's missed an awful lot of volleys, a lot of backhand volleys. It's normally a, a real strength for Ken Rosewall. Good. Right on the line. Back to Deuce. Come on, Kenny, let's get it rolling a little bit. Tighten this thing up. <laughs> Signs of being a little bit more aggressive then. Advantage, Rosewall. Certainly can't take anything away from Connors. No, he has been sir. magnificent. He just has not given Rosewall a chance to do anything. Oh, hey, Kenny Rosewall holds serve for the second time in this match. Not in this set. He's still down a service break as Connors leads 3-1. Connors won the first set 6-1, the second set 6-love. Connors leads third set. This is Tony Trabert, Pat Summerall at the U.S. Open at Forest Hills. Final of the men's singles. That victory at game by Roosevelt stirred up the crowd a little bit. They've been very quiet before that. They'd just like to see it a little bit closer. That fella right there would like to see it closer, too. Got the top of the net and came in good. Had it not hit the net, Roswell would have had another swing at the ball. But when he hit the top of the net, it did not bounce as deep in the court as it normally would have and fell short. Roswell couldn't get to it. 15 all. He hesitated when he started the swing of that ball. Yeah, old reliables let him down today. That backhand is normally very precise, very accurate, very consistent. It has not been that. We've seen glimpses of it, and that's about all. Wow. 
Stars. 30 all. Connor's taking a long time. A very dejected Rosewall. Upset with himself once again for missing that backhand on the return of serve. Is down as they had for Connors. 3-1 in the third set for Connors. Two sets to love for Connors. Rosewall beat Colin Dibley, Bob Lutz, Charles Passarell, Raul Ramirez, the 16th seed. B.J. Amertrage and the number two seed John Newcomb. That defeat coming yesterday to put him into the finals. Connors has not served a double fault in the match. Roswell served four doubles. Connors has two aces as well. He just comes Connors. roaring up to the net. He's done that the entire match, although as Tony Trabert has pointed out a number of times, he changes strategy quite well. He does indeed, and that when the return was high by Rosewall, and he kept on coming and hit the two-handed volley down the line very crisply. Connors has the ad. Notice how Rosewall got inside the baseline. As soon as he recognized he had made a good return, he moved forward so that if the ball came up, he could cut it off. If it was short, he could still get to it and get it past Connors before he could recover. That's Connors in red, serving to Rosewall in the green. Rosewall looked back down at the other end at his opponent, as if to say, what is it I have to do? Or where did you come from? Besides everything else, Connors has anticipated the passing shots extremely well. Spinning serve did it again. Uh, the U.S. Open Tennis Championships 1974. Ken Rosewall against Jimmy Connors. And so far, it's been all Jimmy Connors. He leads two sets to love and four games to one in the third set. Best of five set match. Rosewall serving in the half court, Connors in the near court. The scores at Wimbledon were 6-1, 6-1, 6-4. Like just a continuation. Rose will have to get going to get four games in this set. Yes, he will. On the line. That was a case where the ball hitting the line just stopped. It didn't come forward and scoop through as it normally does, so Connors fanned it. Boy. Besides everything else today, Kenny used bad judgment there, letting that ball go by. It was well inside the baseline. Wasn't even close, really. 30-15. Oh. Oh. Double fault. 
That's number five against Rosewall. This could be one of the fastest and most decisive finals in U.S. Open history or Forest Hills history. 30 40. And once again, it's break point. 30 40. 1 4 in the third set. Rosewall serving. Wet. My name is Chess Gessner. I lost. Well, if it continues like this, Tony, I think you're in your Honestly, assumption. You're, you're very right. This would be the most the most one sided one. We have records back to 1946. And just in looking, the only one that comes close is Emerson over Stolle in 1964. And Satius. Tony Trabert beat Vic Satius in 53 in three straight sets, but the scores were not quite. This one side. The relentless Jimmy Connors keeps pouring it on. That's the way to do it. You get him down, don't give him a feeling they can get back in the match. It's important to know how to win, too. We call it the concluder. When you see that defense crack a little, you turn that screw a couple more turns, split him wide open. Connors has that nature, no question about that. Two points for the match, two points away from winning the U.S. Open. And that's Chrissy Everett's fiance. Probably already got that 22,500 first prize in the bank. <laughs> Those two bank accounts put together are going to be something else. We'd like to be representing that too. Soon. Triple match point. That ball looked like it was going to go well out over the baseline and perhaps even the sideline as well. At any rate, it is 40 love for Jimmy Connors. Triple match point. It's taken an awful lot of time. Oh! Went for the ace up the middle and just missed it. say to Connors was well done and in a nutshell that's what it was very very well done US Open champion Jimmy Connors scores were 6-1 six, 6 love and 6-1 convincing Tony favorite Connors uh, wins this championship it was annihilation six, six, love, six, I was, I was watching Jimmy's mother down here in the marquee. Uh, the first person she went to to give a kiss was to Pancho Segura, Jimmy Connors' coach. What a victory for Jimmy Connors. Again, the score is 6-1, 6-love, 6-1. And we have our U.S. Open champion, Jimmy Connors. Jimmy, first of all, our sincere congratulations for a devastating win. Well, I think that's the best I've ever played in my life, Tony. Uh, I started playing. I thought I... At Wimbledon when I played Ken in the final that I don't think I could have reached that peak again but today I came out feeling just like I did over Wimbledon and and returned I think the best I've ever returned in my life and just uh, after the first game I played a good first game and I just kept on from that point I felt you served extremely well do you feel you'd served well that's the best I've served all week uh, I know I have to against Ken 
he's got one of the best returns around and and even though I was getting a lot of first serves in he was still you know 30 40 40 30 on my serve a couple of times which could have uh, you know given him a chance to really get into the match but uh, when I needed it when I was down I got my first serve in and went in and, and made a fairly tough volley and was lucky from that point did you play any differently tactically this time as you against him in Wimbledon I think I serve and volleyed more this time than I did in Wimbledon I stayed back and I knew Ken at Wimbledon had a, a, a long five setter the day before with Stan Smith and I thought he would be a little more tired at Wimbledon than he was here but I serve and volleyed more here but I mixed it up I think the best I have I stayed back I went in and I did a little bit of everything well, I agree with you. I commented about that because you sometimes you came all the way in behind your serve. Other times you came inside the no man's land and waited for the short ball or the deep ball, which you'd volley. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I think if I let Ken get into the groove, that you know he's just going to really, I think, take me apart. You know, if I would do one thing all the time. So, like at Wimbledon, I mixed the ball up and and took my time, played pretty smooth, and just you know let it ride. Whatever happened. You made an awful lot of winners off of the return of serve. Was that part of your plan to really try to take advantage of Roswell's second serve? Well, it was a, to move in a little bit on his second serve, but I had no idea that I would hit so many winners. Uh, I was just meeting the ball. Perfect timing I had today. It's the best timing I've had in, I think, since Wimbledon. Was there any part of your game that you were not happy with? I, you know, I can't say that I wasn't happy. You know, I think everything went perfect today. I got the leg cords. I got a few good bounces. And I think just everything was in my favor today. And and I was lucky, you know, nothing, nothing I can say. Well, Jimmy, again, our congratulations to you for a tremendous win. Uh, we're really proud of you. I think you did a great job. In addition, I present you with the silver trophy that all winners of Forest Hills hold.